A question I'm asked often when I'm talking about the importance of sharing online, being visible, being searchable on the internet and all of these kinds of things is how do I start? What if I don't know where to start? What if I don't know what to do? And so that's what I'm going to talk about today. When people think about creating on the internet or sharing on the internet, they, I feel like a thing I hear often is the idea that you have to be sharing something quote-unquote original or new or never before seen and things like that. But that's really not it. The secret, quote-unquote secret, to sharing on the internet successfully is first to consume good things. The thoughts that we have are often shaped by the other things that we read, watch, listen to, and so on. So if you're going to expand on your thoughts or connect new ideas or think new things, it is usually based off of a combination of other things that you have read, heard, or listened to somewhere else. So the first thing is you need to consume consciously and consume the right kinds of things. And it doesn't necessarily have to be linked directly to your work. Obviously, if you want to talk about UX, for example, you need to read like good UX blogs, follow people who talk about UX, share their ideas, share their thoughts, and all of those things. But if you're a beginner, you may not have those thoughts formed yet. So you want to engage with other people, read what they're writing, watch what they're um, putting up on YouTube, and form your thoughts about what they have said. So what made sense to you? What was interesting? What didn't you like? That's one way to go about, like, to start sharing. If you talk to writers, I used to be a writer, or well, maybe I am still a writer, but anyway, if you talk to writers, something that you often hear is to see or to know what good writing looks like, you need to read good writing, and to know what bad writing looks like, you need to read bad writing. When you read bad writing, you know it's bad, and then you need to work out why is this bad. When you read a good sentence, a sentence that you read, and you're like, wow, this is such a well-crafted sentence. Then you look at it, and it's like, why is this a great sentence? And you break it down, and you work from there. And it's the same thing. You read things, you watch things, whatever it is, and you pull insights from those things. You pull connections between multiple things you've watched. A recent podcast episode I did was a was about something I learned from two movies, A Man Called Otto and Avatar The Last Airbender, the limited series, the live action limited series. So those kinds of things give you thoughts, help you think new ways. And you have to actually consciously reflect sometimes to find those connecting points. Another thing that you can do if you're just trying to figure out how to start sharing online or what you can talk about if you're shy about sharing your own thoughts is to curate. Curation requires you to actually consume as well. Like you need to read good sources, watch interesting things, listen to interesting people and put that together in a way for other people to also engage with. So you could do like listicles of like 10 articles that I read this week or I remember when I used to blog on my WordPress blog ages ago, I used to do a thing called links I love, I think every Friday or every Saturday, a bunch of like maybe five to ten links or from interesting things I had read, watched, seen during the previous week or the week before. And that is, there are a couple of newsletters that I subscribe to that that's just what they do. The person just shares three, four, five links and they may write a paragraph or two about why they are sharing that link. And that is a good way to also show value to other people. So if you read, you, if you're, I'm going to use UX again because that's <laughs> where I, I work, right? So if you read um, blogs, websites, if you listen to podcasts about UX, you could do a curation of your favorite article, your favorite YouTube video, and your favorite podcast on UX from that week. Or it could be fortnightly, it could be monthly. Right, whatever pace that you can manage. So curating is a very good way to add value to people and to begin to share online about an area that you're interested in, a topic you're interested in, or something that you want to position yourself as someone who is involved in that field. And many people have like ridden to internet fame <laughs> or of some sort or to certain niches from doing that. There were people that I used to follow on Twitter like some time ago 
solely because they had like a weekly curation thread where on the thread you'll put like 10 things that they love from the week it could be objects it may not even necessarily be related to work because there was somebody who used to do like interesting objects that she found during the week or things that spark joy or just anything just curate things that are actually good quality and people like that and of course the last part is to create and in a way curation and all of those things is a kind of freedom because you're expanding the 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 conversation on something you're pulling multiple things together to create something new even though it's not like your quote-unquote original work that's why with creation you're not just sharing links you're saying what about this is interesting to you and this is why you're recommending it to other people to engage with so on top of that, you can then create new things. You can write your own article about something. You can listen to something on your podcast or watch something on a YouTube video. And then you can share your own thoughts about it. That's you creating something new, which is similar to what I talked about in the beginning. So really, if you're struggling with like, how do I actually start sharing online? What do I say? I don't know what to do. Start by consuming a lot of good content and then share that content that you're, you're consuming. Curate it, make lists make posts about the things you've read, the things you're reading that other people can engage with. And that is one way of providing value. Hope this helps. Bye. A quick reminder that I am accepting questions for the podcast. If you have any questions that you'd like me to cover, any things that you'd like me to talk about, please fill the form. I'm going to put the question form in the show notes. So yeah, bye. Thank you for joining me on today's episode of A Couple of Things. If you enjoyed this episode or found any part of it insightful, don't forget to share with your friends on your social media and be sure to leave a comment or a review if you can on your podcast listening app. Thank you.